Hey guys, for the screen replacement, the first thing you need to do is look on the back for the model number and ensure that you do have an iPhone 7 and obviously turn off the screen. Now uh, the first step is to take the two bottom screws using a pentalobe screwdriver. In the link below in the description I've got where you can get the toolkit with all the required tools. Now uh, using a pry tool, as you can see I just move down the side as there is adhesive. Now this adhesive uh, makes it fairly sticky so all I'm doing is loosening it up so I'm going all around and then this loosens it up so then I can slowly pry the screen open more. You don't want to try and lift it too much because it has to open a certain way without breaking the flex cables. And as you can see it opens like a book. Be very careful not to damage the cables and you're left with disconnecting the cables now. Using a Phillips head, remove the screws. There's two screws at the top. The plate easily pops off and obviously the flex cable, you can just pop that off using your nail or on something non-conductive. Using the TriStar, remove the bottom screws. There's in total four screws and the plate easily pops off. Now you disconnect the cables, there's just two connectors. Easily pop off like Lego. Now to the screen, we remove the six screws holding the speaker and the front selfie camera. Six screws in total. The plate easily pops off. Then you just need to fold the camera to the left and remove the ear speaker. Now being very careful, you need to pry the actual uh, assembly off. And this is just stuck down with adhesive. So all you need to do is be very, very uh, careful and get in between the flex cable and the actual frame of the screen. And it should pop off. Now there's a frame that holds a camera in place. It's a plastic frame. I'll just show you it now. That plastic frame simply pops off. And now to remove the side screws using a TriStar still. These side screws hold down the back plate and I'll show you shortly how we remove that back plate. It's very easy, it just pops off. Now at the bottom where the home button is, as you can see, there's four screws. And obviously they remove using the TriStar. The plate comes off. Now, watch carefully how I flip this part open. You need to be very gentle in this part here so you do not damage your home button. That flicks up. And as you can see, I'm slowly going underneath from that point there and just slowly loosening it. Now you can use tweezers, you can use anything that's uh, very thin or very small to get under there. As you can see, I'm not actually bending it, I'm just sliding underneath it. Now the home button should fall out, and there we go. Now we just need to remove the back plate, which is very easy. There's adhesive that's stuck to it at the bottom. We just need to Pick that off and we put the back plate on the new screen. So this is a new screen, now we need to do everything in reverse. We secure the frame with the side screws, six in total using a Y triple O 
TriStar screwdriver. To put the home button back through now you need to feed it underneath like so and then put that in place and fold it over and connect it be once again very careful with this home button it's a very sensitive item and now we need to put the back plate for the home button and we put in the four TriStar screws. We move to the top of the assembly where we simply do everything in reverse as before. Put the bracket that aligns the camera in, just simply sits there. Now put in the actual flex assembly for the selfie camera. We flip the top part up, we put the actual sensors and the grooves there, and then we simply put the speaker in between. flex air like so fold that close put the top bracket to secure and obviously we secure it with the six Phillips head screws And now finally, we just need to reconnect the screen back to the main phone assembly. We start with the two bottom flex cables. They just pop in like Lego. And then we do the top. Simply click in. And obviously we secure the plates back down with the relevant screws. and the four screws for the bottom plate. And we secure the top plate and there's only two screws at the top there, the left and the right one. And we fold the actual screen back in place. We, we push it in from the top down first because there's little uh, connectors that need to tuck under the frame and we slowly move around the outside, pushing it in. Now don't use too much force, you don't wanna be breaking the screen again. Eventually it'll pop in. Obviously put the last two pentalobe screws back in. And finally, all you need to do is test the phone by turning it on. Thanks for watching this video guys. Please like and subscribe. And remember, in the description below, there's a link to the tools and obviously where to purchase screens. If you've got any questions, please drop a comment below down in uh, the comment section. Thank you, bye.